So we're in the car again together. And hey, babe. Hey. Hey, kids. Hey. But no wild Gracie's been quiet. <laughs> yeah, they pick flowers for us all. So beautiful. God keeps blessing us with our plants with um, flowers. So we just pulled over to have a look at this um, new construction that's going on in North Lakes. And we saw these police here. And they're on their bikes and they're booking people. And they were trying to work out how they're going to book people. They're not making much money. No one's going fast. So hang on, hang on. Nah, he's seen them. <laughs> This is such an easy place to speed. It's such a straight road and so quiet. So, it's a Wednesday and I'm home. I had a bad asthma attack last night, so I'm just resting today. And it's State of Origin. Yeah, it's State of Origin tonight. Wearing our shirts. Yeah. I'm in my Ruben's got a beanie. And I've got my beanie on. Oh, that's awesome. For all the y'all that doesn't understand State of Origin. It's one of the toughest games in the world. So, yeah, if they win. Or if they lose. It's brutal. It's tough for both teams. So, we'll um, check in later and we're going to do some frugal shopping today. We'll take some video of it. Ruben just asked where tyres go and why they have to get big trucks to take them away. And I said, well, tyres are extremely toxic to the environment and people steal them and do burnouts and don't get into good stuff so they professionally get rid of tires so they can go into massive mounds the size of you know buildings and because they're so toxic to the environment they don't do anything with it and if you're to burn it it's really bad for you so they just pile up and 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 then sometimes they alight what do you think, Reuben? Yes. Mm hmm. Is it a good idea to get rid of them properly? Yes. You can get, I don't know, some places in the world you can get eco friendly tyres where you can actually get rid of them. But it can be, you can reuse them. You can put potatoes and grow corn in it. Yes. But being so toxic to the environment, I wouldn't really want to grow corn in a toxic tyre. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny, eh? You see on the internet all the time, convert your tyres into a garden. Well, not if they're that toxic. We'll have tyre flavoured corn. <laughs> rubber flavoured potatoes. <laughs> oh, a bit of burnt rubber's good for you, isn't it? Next stop, we are at a tyre place called Jack's. Yeah. Gracie. <laughs> it's called Jack. It is. And you can see that sign there. Yeah, I can't see it. Um, but yeah, Daddy's just in there getting it, the tire checked out because it keeps going down and yeah, it's pretty annoying. So got to get it all fixed up. And then we're off to the shops. Hey, oh, we better have lunch first. <laughs> A local Kmart store. This is a cute... It's hard to find a size for Gracie. Because she's too small for one size and way too big for another size. So either way you're wasting money, so. But she loves shoes. She does! Don't you, Gracie? <laughs> too many options, not enough sizes, eh? <laughs> Really yeah? Got, like... Oh, it looks huge. Look at all. <laughs> Look at all that. It's like six foot of shoes. Not enough. <laughs> and Gracie. Not enough options. Hey, Gracie. Gracie, is six foot of shoes enough? No. They do look cute, eh? <laughs> cute price, though. <laughs> Not. Ruben just could not help himself, could you, Rube? <laughs> I didn't put it on you, put it on yourself. <laughs> well, they got to get in touch with their feminine side, eh? Okay, Gracie, let's try these ones on you. Ready? Ready, Ruben? Oh, look 
good at. I like that one. <laughs> yeah. I can't connect Hey, Rubes, do you want to try girl shoes on? <laughs> you do? <laughs> Where's her toe? I can't feel her toe. Oh, you chop them off, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Where's her toes? <laughs> <laughs> like a tile lad saying this one. <laughs> Where did your toes go? <gasps> Are they magic boots? Can you feel them? <laughs> Are they boots you put your feet in and they disappear? <laughs> What's it gone? <laughs> Are they really that big or is it just too hard to feel it? Too hard to feel. Gracie, where's your toes? <laughs> 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 when I was young, I would have jumped at this shoe. Simpsons. They seem to have gone out of fashion in Australia. I think you've gone out of fashion. I've gone out of fashion in Australia, eh? <laughs> I love my wife. <laughs> Our last stop in this shopping centre. Hey, babe. So. Lie just going for a walk. It's me and you and Gracie, Reuben. Hey, Reub. Hey. How's your day been? Good. Yeah, what's your favourite part? Um, paying. <gasps> paying? I don't like that part. Why? Because you have to pay. I like the saving bit where you save so much money. <laughs> so we're on the way home. We've stopped again. I'm only joking. I only stopped at the traffic. So we're gonna get ready for the um for the <laughs> not Broncos. <laughs> <laughs> for the Broncos! They pretty much are, they're all the whole team's pretty much Broncos. <laughs> get ready for the origin. Yeah. We're gonna have some nice pies and gravy and mashed potato. Not mashed potato. Cheers. Peas. And chippies. I look at this funny to... guys, look. I always try to get some peas in there. <laughs> Anyway, I'll have it. <laughs> yeah. On pies. He does have cheap peas. Mm -hmm. My, um, Nikki's gonna spin the camera around so you can see the opposition. Huh. Ready? We're gonna go past them. Everyone goes, boo! <laughs> yeah. It's the only game in Australia that you can be unsportsmanship like. It's everyone against the blues. <laughs> Sorry, New South Wales people. Yep. <laughs> they won't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm originally from New South Wales. Yes, the big bombshell, the biggest you know online bombshell there is. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh it's been dropped. <laughs> but I was marrying a Queenslander. I only lived in New South Wales for like eight years, and then yeah. the rest of my life has been in Queensland. Yep. And she wouldn't have married me if I didn't turn into a <laughs> cane <Rooms>. toad. <laughs> so, trim the mascot of a cockroach to a cane toad. I secretly go for the blues. Oh yeah, <laughs> the secret's out now. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have done it. We bought like I think everything but one thing on the list, and we were like way under what yes. Mike thought we would have been. So we yeah. we did it frugally. Everything we looked at, we're like, oh, what's the price of this? <laughs> and then we saved a dollar by getting the item that didn't have pictures on it. So, you know, boys' underwear. You don't need pictures, right? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and socks. Just, mm -hmm. you're not going to see them. So we just put together the plain coloured, at least they're coloured. Yeah. There you go. So we're just saving money there and trying to be frugal. And I check out girl where I said, can it please be under a hundred dollars, please? And she goes, "I'll do my best." And she, every item, she's like, "Oh no, we're gonna make it." <laughs> <laughs> and then guess what it came to? Ready? Ninety-eight dollars. Woo! We did it. Cha Ching. Yeah. So she passed. I might give her a good, you know, rating. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye. Bye. Say go Queensland. Go Queensland. Gracie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
I regret nothing. Singing, I think. Mean. <laughs> All of these clothing items here, I we paid under a hundred dollars for all of these here. This here is a three piece set. Um a little beanie tights and it's a little knit dress it was nineteen dollars and we paid four dollars fifty because it has a little a little hole right there I thought wow that is such a bargain I'm not gonna miss that and then a little shirt um, just a sleepwear shirt was on sale for a dollar we got so much and shoes for Ruben are on sale. And these shirts here were only three dollars. So we got two of those. We've been out all day. All day, all afternoon, haven't we? And I think the boys are trending. They've got like little trends happening. Grey, blues and overjoyed. Yeah. And navies. But overall, I'm pretty happy. I think we did really well. So this was from Kmart, guys. Oh. Boys have had their dinner and dessert. The game has just started. I have to be quiet because Grace is asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Eating your dinner? Yep. He did. It's very... Um... <laughs> We get, a lot, we get away with a lot in this game. We got a biff. The boys are so tired. Yeah, biff and, and it. Players are fighting. Almost 8.30. <laughs> the lads was nodding off before. Bye. Thanks, guys, for watching.